Um, but so, like, what do you do? You have like a new sort of plan, I guess, to increase your presence a little bit, maybe within the New York area. And um, abroad? yeah, for sure, definitely. Um, I'm working on that as we speak. Uh, plan on dropping uh, the Ninja project next month. So definitely, I'm, I'm planning on you know having parties here, having parties there. Um, April sixteenth. April sixteenth, <laughs> man. Yes. And also plenty of interviews on Zeus Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, man, and you know just a lot of marketing as far as uh, visuals. I mean stickers, you know posters, flyers, wh- whatever have you. You know it's like. I want you to think about Ninja Nices when you're just walking to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just kind of get bumped into it. Yo, know? I had, like, the same exact thought with our company. I just want to print out a fuck ton of stickers and just, yeah. post, just post I got it. the sticker connect for you, bro. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. But we'll talk. We'll definitely yeah, yeah, talk. Yeah, for sure. I got yeah. the sticker connect for you. Um, that's sick. So, the project's coming out next month. How you feeling for it? Yeah, I'm, like, I have, like, 30 or 40 songs. So <laughs> I got to, like, chop the shit down. You know what I'm saying? So, um... But I'm gonna drop that, and then I gotta. Uh, I want to do a Streets of Rage series, so I'm gonna do like a what two, series? Three Streets of Rage. Remember old Sega Genesis game? Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. I thought it way back to that. Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Streets of I not, Rage. I was not big into Sega. I, okay. I, I, I grew, grew up with nerdy friends. My so. mom really <laughs> had game consoles, so okay, I, okay, I don't okay, know okay, a lot about like '90s. So it's like a, it's a, it's a beat 'em up. So you just go gotcha. around, Button boom, smashing. boom, boom. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was like the the soundtrack to the to the game okay. was really really good. So um, they're actually re releasing re releasing it on vinyl. Um, the so soundtrack. I'm just gonna, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna sample like some songs and just make like little EPs for. But um, yeah, man, I got I got a, I got a lot of stuff I I, I want to put out and and do. Um, so it's going. It's looking. It's looking good this year. Are you? Sure. Uh, we've asked this before. He's asked this before. How is that process like of cutting down music or cutting that cutting out songs? That has to be hard. Yeah, it's 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 tough, yeah. but it's just like some some of you know. It's like I could throw that on something else. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's cool because you know it it it's for the better. You know, mm-hmm. and you can always reevaluate. Reevaluate. It's like spring cleaning almost. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. Do you feel like do you have a certain uh, number of tracks you have in mind, or like? Uh, I'm shooting for. I want to say like eight to ten, maybe. I'd say eight to twelve. I'll put that. Okay, yeah. I feel like that's a really good range for today's mm-hmm. um, today's listeners. To yeah, to, their to adjust attention it. span is like yeah. nothing. It's literally it's, I mean, it's you tough. You put out four songs. That's an EP. It's tough yeah. to grab someone's attention. <laughs> I think but Nick Mills just actually did that. He put out like four years. Yeah, 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 it was like one of them was a Drake diss track. Right, it was, right, it was right, like right. yeah, it was exactly that. Um, well, it's funny because when I first went through your SoundCloud, the first song is uh, "Fuck the Whole World." Or, mm-hmm. Yeah, which I fucking just dropped that. Love, yeah. by the way. I appreciate yeah. that. But like, it's funny. So if Marlon didn't put us in contact, I would still want to keep listening because that first song hooked me in. Okay. And it makes you want to keep going with it. That's why I, mean, I personally think SoundCloud is such a great tool. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. But like, it's I'm actually curious about that song. So was that you singing on the hook? No, it's my good friend uh, Peter Baldwin. So okay. When I went down to uh, Florida. Uh, I met him and uh, I think he was going to full sale at the time, um, and he's he's had a, a really crazy like uh, progressive and productive career. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like opened up for like Josh Stone, Earth Wind and Fire, oh, wow. and Mayor Hawthorne. Like really, like he's a really talented dude. Just to name a few. Just to name a few. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, but, no, too. Like, Earth Wind Fire. Uh, I think so. <laughs> I got that fire. You <laughs> But yeah, he's a really talented dude, and I haven't seen him. He moved to Brooklyn, and I ran into him. Actually, I was on a show at Pianos, and I ran into him. And I was like, yo! <laughs> and um, yeah, so he was like, yo, link up with me. And then we finally got a chance to link up again. And um, I actually did a, I did like two songs with him prior in one of the, in my uh, eight mixtape days. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> um, and, uh, Is that what that time period for two hours? Yeah, the eight, <laughs> eight, eight mixtape days. days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, we just we we knocked that song out probably like an hour, man. Like he was playing the keys and he's playing the guitar on it, and also doing the singing. Yeah, and he's doing the singing wow. as well. And he had the second verse, and I just kind of like just orchestrated everything and 
in terms of like you know chopping it up and do you dropping. ever take that kind of role as like an executive producer with other people's tracks that you're um, not on I I think I I haven't as of yet mm-hmm. but like I always give the the feedback like yo you should boom boom this cause this is good you, should, you know what I'm saying so I'm like yeah. I'm, I'm pretty vocal in, in the studio of people playing like their tracks and stuff you know that's cool